This is the only level in Mugshot's world that uh, actually is a casino. And originally when we had set off to make Mugshot's world, it was all gonna be casino. We just sort of weren't that interested in, in doing a whole casino world after doing one. So we had to find lots of stuff around it. Lots of we have buildings outside of it and the rooftop on top of it. Well, it was just more interesting going through the urban environment yeah. than it was kind of making your way through these slot machines and, and dodging the gangster dogs. Kind of like real Vegas where it's it's interesting for the first time you see it and for a little while and after a while you kind of get numbed. But it's based on real casinos that have a lot of water and swinging sparking cables. Yeah. You've seen real casinos you've been to uh, over, in, over in Tulalip. No. Oh. In fact, it's not. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's not. <laughs> This level features a couple uh, game mechanics that we that we use all over the place, but in here it's, it's it's pretty pronounced. And that's when you get up on top of chandeliers and you're looking down on a guard, where the whole point is to get the drop on your opponent jump down and smack them in the head with your cane. I think this was the first place we did it. And we use it all over the game. But there's some pretty clear examples in here. And oddly enough, even though you're many, many feet away from your opponent and you can go anywhere, whenever we see people playing, they instinctually bash people in the backs of their heads from above, so it seems to be pretty core to, to, to human behavior. Another uh, very core Sly Cooper kind of gameplay concept is uh, what we call that M plus one an M standing for mechanic. So when you're playing the second half of this level and you're jumping on those spinning roulette wheels, uh, you'll notice that the first set you're on, they're not dangerous at all. And that's just to teach you sort of what it's like to be on these, these wheels with that have little partitions and they're moving. And then the second one you get to has dangerous tabs in them. So you have to, you have to kind of watch out where you're jumping. That's M plus one. The plus one is the dangerous tabs. Then you get to the third set of wheels and you're at M plus one plus two. And the two is the laser beams, which you can't cross. So you need to, to, to get between the wheels fast. And then you get to the fourth set of wheels and the wheels are going in the opposite direction. If you sit and you, you play this game or uh, the second half and you, you really look at how the difficulty is ratchet it up one wheel at a time. It's crazy clear that that's how we try and increase the tension in the gameplay, but not overwhelming the player off the bat with complexity because you're taught each little mechanic along the way.